Hi, this is Dr. Lou, and this infrared heating pad has jade in it. Little jade stones. Let's have a look. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Lou Jacobs at Jacobs Chiropractic Acupuncture Center in Portland, Maine. And I've been given a gift from a company that wants me to review their product. I have no obligation to them. I have no money coming in from them. All they did was send me the product and said, could you review this for us, please? So I'm going to give it to you straight. We're going to have a look at this puppy right here. Far infrared heating pad with jade. So when I get paid for reviews, I will let you know. If I'm being sponsored, I will always let you know. But in this case, I'm not being sponsored. Again, they just gave me this and they wanted me to have a look. So this is what it looks like in the box. Okay. This is a medium size pro heating pad. It's 21 by 31 inches or 55 by 80 centimeters. I'm going to open this up. It came nicely packaged, I should say. What we'll do is we'll open it up, we'll have a look at it, and then we'll take it into the other room, plug it in and see how it works. I've never used one of these before. I mean, I've used heating pads before, but not this one. So. This review is gonna be based on the first application of the heating pad. So you take it for what it's worth, okay? All right, so far it's looking pretty slick in here. Look at this. It comes in a nice storage slash carrying case with a zipper that goes from end to end inside. We've got a power cord with a controller on it. We've got this booklet here that I can't seem to get in. There we go. Instruction booklet with the anatomy of the heating pad in it. It looks pretty interesting. Hmm, let's have a look. So again, cord, connector to the pad, and control panel right here. The pad itself here is wrapped in plastic. It feels pretty nice. It's got a Velcro strap. <laughs> It's interesting. I've never seen anything like this. So look at that. It's covered in jade, or what they claim to be jade. I don't have any reason to believe that it's not, other than this thing would be super expensive. As it turns out, after looking on Amazon for this product, it's not cheap. But it's not outrageously expensive. So they claim that this medium one here has 108 jade and 42 tourmaline stones. Okay. And the retail price for this at Amazon is $188.88. Okay. There's 619 reviews and they've got four and a half stars right now. Now I should say that the smaller pad... The small version of this is $132, and that has 2,557 reviews on Amazon, and again, roughly four and a half stars. So it seems to be a somewhat popular product. It weighs about four and a half pounds, and again, it looks like this. It looks really, really neat. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Um, it says that you should get four to six inches of penetration of heat, which is quite a lot. Um, I have to say the construction of it, it looks pretty nice. I mean, this is, um, it looks pretty nice. You can feel 
that there's stuff going on inside. Meaning, um, in that book here with the anatomy of the pad, you can see how there's a lot of thermal protective layers and uh, heating elements and um, uh, this this sort of pleather material. Um, it's it's really it seems to be nicely put together. So I'm going to give them that right off the bat. This booklet, for what it's worth, has a really nice explanation of what's going on in the pad and in your body uh, when you use this. Um, and again, I so far, I like the look of it. I mean, the first thing I look for is... Um, a nice quality construction and I'm gonna say if I tug at this if I look at the stitching it looks pretty good it does not look or feel like it's gonna fall apart anytime soon all right so um, even with moderately heavy use it looks like it's a pretty good product right it's really neat looking and I'm really curious to see um, how it feels when we turn it on they have a variety of products this UTK uh, company utktechnology.com is their email address if you want to poke around there and have a little look all right so i'm going to fold this up so there's not much else to show you here other than maybe the connector right here where the cord goes in that's nice and blurry for you Alrighty. So again, wraps up just like that and then would fit in the bag. I'm not going to put it in the bag because we're going to go into the other room and see how it heats up and see what it feels like. And then I'm going to give you my final assessment with the first try of this thing. Okay, let's go into the other room. All right, there it is. I turned it all the way up to 159 degrees, but it appears to be showing us the temperature rise as it heads towards the maximum heating capacity. All right, as you can see, there are these little jade and tourmaline stones this guy right here plugged in pretty easily it was a little sticky but it's not a big deal okay and on a standard massage table an earth light table that is what it looks like so we will see how it warms up it doesn't feel warm at all yet the controller here not only has a temperature control, but a timer and a memory button so that you can save your settings. But it looks pretty cool. And this medium one, as you can see, I mean, that will cover your whole mid and low back if you are an average size person up to about, oh, five, ten to six feet, I would expect. Pretty cool. I'm going to let it heat up and then we'll come back. So one of the things that they talk about in this booklet while we're waiting for the heating pad to heat up is the property of all these stones. And as you may or may not know, jade and jadeite have been valued in Chinese medicine for a long time. They work on all parts or many parts of the body in traditional Chinese medicine and can be really, really helpful um, in Chinese medicine as a healing stone. The mat also has... Uh, magnetic stone in it as well um, and it also has the tourmaline in there so there are a lot of um, uh, if you're into stones there are a lot of potential healing properties according to them um, within this heating pad now um, if you've ever had a hot stone massage I suspect that this thing will feel a little bit like that. If you were to lie on this with no shirt on, 
um, you will be lying almost directly on the stone. There's a little mesh over the stone. Um, but uh, apart from that, um, there's nothing separating you from or separating your skin from the stone itself. Um, they get into what's called far infrared therapy here. And um, according to what they say here, research has shown that far infrared therapy can improve blood circulation and reduce symptoms of chronic disease, alleviate pain, revitalize skin cells, strengthen the brain, cardiovascular system, and nervous system, and help restore muscle and joint elasticity. What else is in this booklet? Oh, a little bit of information on magnetic fields and magnetic waves and biophoton red light therapy. I'm not going to read you this booklet. You would read it either at their website, I presume, or when you get this. Um, but, um, you know, it incorporates... Um, I think that the, the makers of this are trying to incorporate different therapies into one single mat. Um, pain relief, maybe more from uh, a medical or a PT or a chiropractic perspective. Um, uh, it says here that it might help replenish your post-workout energy. So from a personal training standpoint, this thing could be helpful. Um, wellness and balance whatever that means, um, as if you were going to yoga, um, soothing of the muscles, obviously, from the heat and the stones, just like in a massage therapy office. You know, so they're trying to cover a bunch of bases, um, and, uh, and we'll see. Um, if it does that, you can roll the thing up, and you can put it under your neck. Um, you can re reconfigure it so that it will fit certain parts of your body, which is kind of nice. You can wrap it over your shoulder, wrap it around a leg. It, it seems to have a lot of uses. And with that little Velcro strap, um, you could most likely stabilize it in a number of different positions. Again, I haven't tried those yet, but I will get to it eventually. And if it's worthy of updating you, I will be certain to do that. Um, anyway, this booklet here is about 33 pages long. So there's a fair amount of information. And um, I look forward to digging into some of the research to see if what they're saying about the properties of these stones has indeed been confirmed through. Okay, so here we have the pad. Let's see what it's up to. 142 degrees. And it's definitely warm. I can definitely feel it. Now here's a cool thing that we are gonna try. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off here for a second. I'm going to have a look at my heart rate and my heart rate variability using my Aura Ring and we'll see if lying down on this mat changes it at all. Lying down in and of itself could change it, but we'll have a look and we'll just see what happens for giggles sake. Okay, so here I am. I'm lying on the mat. It is definitely warm. It feels really good. Um, my heart rate was at about 86, but I realized in holding this thing up in the way that I've been running around, it's gonna go down no matter what with me lying down. So this is not a good, a really good test as to whether or not this mat has any meaningful influence on my heart rate variability or my um, heart rate at this time. But suffice to say, it is comfortable. Even though it has stones in it, you don't feel like you're lying on stones. It's really warm. It feels good. It would certainly loosen up muscles. It would certainly relax you. And I suspect it will take a whole lot longer for me to determine any other benefits from lying on it, but I'm not going to make you suffer watching me lie here and rest much longer. It took about seven minutes to get hot. Um, and it's still getting warmer. You can see right there. 
that it's at 148 and it's going to go up another 10 degrees. You know, it feels really good. I mean, it feels like a heating pad. And again, I suspect that with time and a little bit of experimentation, one would be able to um, tell the difference or see that there's no difference between this and something else. I have not had a chance to read the reviews online yet. I'm going to do that. And I would encourage you to do the same before you go and purchase this. But it again, it feels really good. The construction is really good. I mean, as far as heating pads go, they're generally not that inexpensive to begin with. They oftentimes will cost 30 to 40 bucks. So, okay, this one is bigger than the average one. It's fancier for sure. It seems to be constructed better. Is it worth another $140 on top of a regular old heating pad that you get at the drugstore? I'm not sure yet, but I suspect that it might be. I mean, if it does more, if it feels like it's doing more than just a regular heating pad, and if that's what you wanted out of a heating pad, then it would definitely be worth it. Again, it's very, very comfortable. The controls are really nice. It seems to be great, you know, made very well. Um, it's still, it is a lot of money for a heating pad, but again, if it, if it actually does what it says that it does, then I think that it would, it would be a worthy tool for athletes, for desk jockeys, for people who have a lot of strain in the muscles, especially in the back. Um, it gets really warm. It feels good. And I suspect, I don't know a whole lot about stones, but I, I suspect that the more they heat up, the more they would be doing, according to the claims of those who believe in the healing properties of stones. Feels really good, though. It's powerful. Really powerful. A little too powerful right now because it's warm in this room. So I'm going to go, and we'll catch up in a second. All right, the makers of this... Far infrared heating pads say use it as often as possible for the best results. Can't say that I would disagree with that based on what little bit I've used it. It feels great and it. Uh, I would assume that more is going to be better. I have had a patient long ago who used to sleep on a heating pad and it started to create discoloration on his back and looked a little bit like the veins in blue cheese because he was apparently cooking himself with the pad. You don't want to do that. You don't want to use it that much. This thing has a timer, which is awesome. You can set the timer and it'll go off after half an hour and you don't have to worry about cooking yourself. Um, not well done cooking, but just lightly lightly roasted you don't want that it's a little too much a little too much um but they do say use it as often as possible you can use it in the car although it doesn't come with a uh a cigarette lighter attachment um, but they say you could use it in the car if you've got a plug in the car which many do now um they say you can put it on top of you you can they can you can put it underneath you but as far as heating pads go um you know it, it feels really really good it seems like a great product um, and it'd certainly be worth a try if you're in the market for a higher end heating pad that is returnable if you wouldn't like it. Um, that's all I've got to say about it right now, but I like the looks of it so far. This is Dr. Lou Jacobs, chiropractor and acupuncturist in Portland, Maine at Jacobs Chiropractic Acupuncture, reviewing the UTK far infrared heating pad without any obligation to the company, completely impartial. I like it. I think it looks like a good solid product and it is certainly worth a try if you're in the market for a hundred to two hundred dollar heating pad that's a bit on the fancy side. Thanks for watching. Good luck shopping and if you have any questions, comments, or smart remarks, post them below and if they're worthy getting back to, which most of the smart remarks are not, if they're worthy getting back to, I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more similar types of reviews 
in the future. I, I decided to dig a little bit deeper into the reviews and some of the other information about this heating pad. It's, it's registered as a class two medical device by the FDA. It is um, given really good reviews online. I mean, people wanted it for certain purposes and they got exactly what they wanted. Um, there were a couple of reviews that were still good, but that said that it was hard and uncomfortable. I didn't find that to be the case at all. I think it's very comfortable. Um, and it feels like the stones kind of mold around you a little bit and it's kind of nice and comforting. Um, it, uh, it gets really, really great reviews. Uh, people seem to be very, very happy with it and they say for the price that they paid for it, that, um, it was worth the money. So I'm happy to see that. Um, there's a couple randomly stopped working and this and that, but that happens with everything. That's an electronic device for you. My computers in my office go down every single day. So it's, not, that's not true, but once a week, um, it's a really great, there's lots of like, I love this product. I wish I could give it more stars, all that kind of stuff. So I think it's safe to say that people are very, very happy with it. Again, the smaller version has over 2,500 reviews, and they are, by and large, all excellent. So if people are, again, they, I, they gave this to me. I did not pay for it. If I had to pay $180 for it, if I wanted a heating pad for at home, I think it might be worth it. But these people online that are giving it reviews, they're saying it's a good deal. So you can take that to Amazon and enjoy getting this thing in the mail.